Hello everybody, welcome to my channel where today I'm going to be sharing with you my tips and tricks that I have gathered along my little paleo journey. Now I've put a lot of hours into paleo during the closed beta and now open beta is finally out there for everybody. I wanted to just share some of my tips that I have gathered along the way. So without further ado, let's get into it. Number one, you want to pick your character very carefully because you won't be able to change much during the process right now. So you'll only be able to change your hair color your hairstyle and your clothing so just make sure you take your time when creating your character just make sure that you got it just right ready for the gameplay to equip your tools just press R and then hover your mouse over that tool that you want to use then press X to unequip now with camera mode it's very easy you just want to press K to enter the camera mode and then if you press the two little arrows in the corner you're able to rotate it around to line up your shot however you want to you use the right mouse button to pan your camera and then you capture it by pressing the left. Then you want to make sure you come down to recent after you've taken your pictures to save your photos so make sure you select every photo that you want to save and press save to device because otherwise you will lose your photos and you don't want that. I will put in the description the link to find them on your desktop because it is very confusing so shout out to Coromora for helping me with finding them on my PC. With sprinting, it is very easy. You just tap shift. That is it. You don't need to hold it down. When you are running, just tap shift and you will sprint everywhere. Find your friends list and request. Just press O and it will open up your friends list. And here you will see who is online, who is in your server, who is even visiting your plot. It is that easy. Then to access your request, you want to click this little shopping cart up here and it will give you the list of active requests that you have and people on the server and your friends list have also so you want to help some people out be sure to check out this shopping cart because you will be able to help people and sometimes it gives you renown as well so it's always worth a little help just bear in mind that you only have four requests available every 24 hours and you must have had this item at least once during your gameplay to be able to request it again to access your inventory you just want to press i on your keyboard and then it will bring up your inventory on your screen here you can rearrange your inventory however it suits you I just like to line everything up with tools and food that is just my preference but however you find it easier then just do it that way to arrange your tools you can actually rearrange your tool wheel so you just hold down on your tools and drag it to wherever you want to, to track your skills it is down in the bottom left there you just want to keep an eye on that because if you hover your mouse over them it will also show you the NPC required for that skill these NPCs are the ones that you need to go and purchase from in the future so if you need a sawmill or if you need a smelter just check out which npc is required now to enter build mode you want to hit control here it will bring up a big grid on your screen so this is like a snapping grid so you are now able to move furniture around on that grid quite precisely some prefer it this way i don't if you want to remove that item just press g and then if you press z it will remove the grid and you can then think of it as the bb move objects in sims you can place it wherever you want off the grid to unlock customization of the furniture you want to unlock the modification bench by leveling up in decorating and furniture crafting to then purchase it from tish so once you do that you'll be able to buy modification kits and then you can easily modify your furniture just pick up the furniture i am going into your inventory and customize away it's that simple and every furniture item has the same color swatch so you can easily match everything now if you want to go into the home build view just press h on your keyboard and it will bring up the bird's eye view of your plot this is where you are able to move all your buildings you can even move furniture around the soil plots anything on your plot you can move apart from the foliage and the rocks so just bear that in mind this is also where you will use your writs to unlock more plot space if you go over to this selection box it will allow you to have more plots meaning that once you you're done with this plot you can build another house giving your friends certain roles on your plot is quite easy you just hit the little person with the cogwheel and this is where you will grant them permission to be an editor or just a visitor or simply block them from your plot altogether to access your storage you need to go over to one of these chests where you will start off with a 400 space limit in your storage to easily up your storage you can just craft more chests you will have a limit of eight chests which is enough storage space for now 
now. If you want to sell on your plot, you can sell to the shipping bin. Just bear in mind that this has a 30 minute timer, so it won't sell until the 30 minutes are up. And to get your money, you need to be on the plot. If you're not on the plot, your money will just sit in your shipping bin until you arrive back. Now your mailbox is where all your NPCs will send you mail. Be sure to check this quite often because sometimes they send you little goodies and I've had some cute little furniture items from them, so it's worth a check. If you want to visit your friends, just hit the visiting billboard and this is where you will see if your friends are accepting visitors or not. And it's that easy. You just click on their plot and you click visit. Now, once you unlock the glider, what you want to do is literally just jump and tap your spacebar and then there you go, you are flying. I love my glider and I'm forever using it. To repair your tools, you just head to the blacksmith in the town and you just hit repair there. You can use repair kits or you can use coins. You can even get the repair station for your own plot eventually, but I kind of like going into town and having to repair there. You will see cash registers dotted around the town. This is where you can go and buy some stock if you need to or some items that you just simply can't be bothered to find yourself. So it is worth just taking a stroll around the city hall is where you will buy all of your writs, writs you will buy for with renown and the crafting license and buildings you'll buy with coins. You need your crafting license to up your machine count at home so bear that in mind and if you want to upgrade your home this is where you will come to buy everything you need for that. To equip your tool bait or your arrows or whatever it is that you need to equip to your tools, simply have it in your hand and right click. If you're like me and you get lost very easily and you need to set a waypoint, simply open your map by pressing M on your keyboard and using your scroll wheel to highlight an area. It can also create your own waypoints if you want. Select an NPC or a building and it will set you on your way. Look at the top of your screen and you will see the highlight there on the little compass. Head over to that NPC or building and you are good. Now, if you want to track your NPC level and wants, you can do that if you open your inventory and head to the heart. On the heart page, this is where you'll see all your NPC levels and wants. If you don't know what they actually want, you can head to that NPC themselves and simply ask them. On your map, you will see these little horseshoes, which means that is a fast travel billboard. So just head to one of those. You will have to pay money with the fast travel billboard, so bear that in mind. Or you can just open your map and press return home. Bear in mind if you press that return home you will have a 30 minute recharge of that button so use it wisely. If you're like me and you like to explore and sometimes you get a little bit stuck in areas that you thought you could climb or just simply type forward slash unstuck in the chat box and it will send you back to the nearest safe space just to help you get unstuck. Focus is important in this game. It is like your xp stamina bar so the more you eat the more xp stamina you have and if you want to increase that bonus perk all you need to do is head to the phoenix falls and spend a hundred an hour at the phoenix meaning that it will give you a percentage boost on your focus Or head over to the Dragon Shrine and spend 100 renown there and it will increase the total amount of focus you can have in your bar. Sometimes it's worth upping that a little bit more just so you can have a little bit more of an XP boost during activities. Hunting is a great way to earn money early game. If you can, I'd highly recommend getting the copper arrows as soon as possible. You don't need to upgrade your bow, just focus on your arrows. They make the Cernux a one hit kill. If you want to use the makeshift bows, you can go ahead and hunt quite a lot of chopper with them because they are one shot with the makeshift bows. Now loot chests are dotted throughout the maps so be sure to keep your eye out because they can have some very good things inside. With foraging when you're running around and you see a little glowing gold thing they are things that you can forage so be sure to keep an eye out they're quite easy to see at night time. I like to go foraging on a night time because it's just easier to see everything. There are different bugs and fish within different areas. I use the interactive map quite often when trying to find areas. I will link it in the description below. Gold star bugs tend to sparkle, so be sure to throw your bombs at them and give them a catch. And when 
you have caught them, they will set off a little firework. That's how you know you've got yourself a gold bug. Gathering resources with friends means that anyone who hits that item or interacts with it also gets the loot as well, so it's a good little perk to do with your friends. Also, doing skill tasks with friends means that you get a little boost perk as well, which is always a good thing to have. Gold star fish can be found within the ripples in the water, so be sure to cast your rod because you are guaranteed to get yourself a little gold fish. Fishing is really good in this game, because not only are you getting money for your fish, you are also within a chance of getting a waterlogged chest which might have some lucky stuff inside. I have got a lot of my furniture from the waterlogged chest so I highly recommend just grabbing your rod and going fishing. If you want to see how much things are going to sell for, simply hover your mouse over that item and it will tell you how much it's going to sell for in that stack as well. So this is a great way to see how much money you're going to make. Fishing spots can be located by opening it up and it's the dark blue spots highlighted around. So if you want a quiet little fishing spot, just look out for a dark blue spot on your map and head that way. If you're like me and you like to track what you have caught fishing or bug catching, head to your accomplishments and scroll down to the bug and fish collector section. Click the little magnifying glass and it will show you all the bugs and fish that you have collected so far. And it will also tell you where you can locate it again if you are needing it in the future. Be careful when gathering resources on your home plot because these will not come back. Once you have got rid of them, that's it. Unless they drop an acorn or a pine cone, then you can replant your trees. It's quite easy. You just select the acorn or pine cone in your inventory taskbar and place the tree. Gold star items can be placed in your home. I have placed a steak dinner and now a fish and a butterfly and I love it. I'm going to be using this a lot. To create a community, just head over to the little house tab in your inventory where you can go ahead and create a community for you and your friends. This is a good way to keep in touch with people within the game. You can only have nine plus of soil for farming and these can be bought from Bardrew. Now bear in mind that certain crops do also give boost to the other crops, so plan it all wisely. At 6am the crop cycle begins again. Be sure to water your crops. You will need to make sure that they are ready to go throughout the day. If you want to keep them watered for a little bit longer, just make sure to fertilize them if you can. If you have a worm farm going, they tend to give you a lot of fertilizer. So be sure to go ahead and do that because it will keep them watered for much longer. When your crops are ready to be harvested, they will have like a gold little shimmer on them and they will also make a twinkling sound and it just reminds me of the fortnite chests who hovered around the maps so just listen out for that if you can't actually see the glow and go ahead and harvest your crops ready to sell or put in your seed maker well there we go guys there are my little tips that i have come up with over the last few days i hope you are loving this game as much as i am i am very addicted to it and i can't wait to play this game more so let me know in the comments below if you have your own little tips that you have found along the way and if you're enjoying this game until next time guys bye